Okay, this is a real thing. Yes, it's it the, the Wayne Middle School Chicken Tender Club. That's right. They are made up of over half the school's population. It's not what it sounds like. They actually don't eat chicken tenders. They tend to chickens. They chicken do. tender, get it? I love it. It's yeah. so fun. And with new permits and grant funding from the West Virginia Department of Agriculture, mm -hmm. this club is still continuing to yeah. grow every single day. News Channel 3's Lisa Feinstein shows us what the club is all about and what this new funding will be used for. Breakfast is served for these chickens. <laughs> this isn't your usual farm, and these are not your usual farmers. The backyard of Wayne Middle School is home to the Chicken Tender Club. We have chickens here at school, so we call ourselves the Chicken Tenders because we raise chickens, so we tend to chickens. So we're the Chicken Tenders. Hello! Samantha Stevens is a teacher at Wayne Middle School, and they call her Head Chicken Tender. And I teach them how to do the things that we do here at school, and then they take it and they teach the smaller kids, the younger ones, how to do it. The club started in 2022 and has grown exponentially since, with nearly 200 chicken tenders working in the coop. The students feed the chickens, look after their eggs, and take full responsibility even when they can't come to school that day. They do it all on their own time. You learn new things and you're always doing hands-on work. I've learned how to take care of chickens. I've learned how to grow microgreens. Uh, be, be responsible. It's actually showing a need that we need this in our community and not just Wayne County, in the whole state. And state officials have taken notice. The Chicken Tender Club now has a permit to sell the eggs to the school's cafeteria. And they were recently awarded a $14,000 grant from the West Virginia Department of Agriculture with the help of Commissioner Kent Lenhart. It came with a brooder, incubators, all kinds of supplies, seeds, and but the big thing with it, we got a storage shed out there that we did desperately needed. But one of the biggest things that came with is a hot tunnel and we'll be getting that this spring hopefully. The goal of this program is to work as a feeder into the bigger agricultural programs throughout the state. The elementary school has even started a group called the Chicken Nuggets with their hopes of becoming chicken tenders. It did surprise me that the kids had become so responsible because you hear middle schoolers and you hear, you know, horror stories of middle school. And once you start working with them, that is not, that is the furthest thing from the truth. These are the most responsible kids that I know. It goes beyond agriculture. These kids learn skills they can take into any profession, like writing invoices to sell the eggs to the cafeteria, working on a team and making sure your work gets done even when you can't be there. It gives me hope for the future because this is the next generation and they, then we need these kids to be responsible. We need them to get off of TikTok. We need them to get out from behind these screens and get outside. Lisa Feinstein, WSAZ News Channel 3, Wayne County. Love it. Go chicken tenders and chicken nuggets. Yeah, and if you're wondering, brown eggs come generally from brown yes. hens and white eggs come generally from white hens. Think you didn't know. Learn something new every day.